Good morning! Welcome to day one of the I, I Readathon. It is now like 6.20 a.m. and I have to be at work at 6.45 so I need to run. However, just want to say hey, I'm very excited. I already saw on Twitter that a bunch of people have already started reading, so that's awesome. I think I'm gonna start out with The Edge of Everything today and just like finish part four before I get into my real first book of the day. Yaki Delgado wants to kick your ass which I probably won't be able to start until like the cozy night in part of the night, which is gonna be at like 7 p.m. So I have like 13 hours until that happens. So I'm very excited. It's like 12, 18. I just got home from work. I'm starving. I'm gonna go inside. I already made myself some food for the week. So I'm gonna have some potatoes and I was gonna stretch beforehand, but I think I'm gonna stretch after I eat a little bit. But my body, I could feel myself getting older now, which is a scary thing, and I know I'm only 22, so I shouldn't say that, but I can just feel my body, like it's so tense in the morning, and it's telling me to exercise. So I need to at least like stretch out my body for at least 10 minutes every single day, and preferably in the morning, but if it doesn't happen in the morning, I have to do it at some point because my body just feels it, doesn't feel good. So I'm gonna do those things. Maybe I'll read while I stretch a little bit. That would be really nice. I'm on page 261 currently, and I believe there's like 340, 360 pages. So I think I can do that. That seems easy enough. Okay, it is now 2.15, and I have just finished The Edge of Everything. I give it four stars. Um, I really enjoyed it. I was really surprised at how much I enjoyed it. I mainly, because it was told in like two perspectives, Zoe's and X's, and I really liked Zoe's because that was told in more of like contemporary voice and she's just really quirky. Part four, the part that I just read was very predictable. Like I knew what was going to happen throughout the entire time. That didn't make it any less exciting. So good book, would recommend. The next one that I want to read is Yaki Delgado Wants to Kick Your Ass. However, um, I kind of wanted to start this during that cozy night in thing tonight. Maybe I'll start it a little bit beforehand, but I just kind of want to eat right now and maybe take a nap. <laughs> I was up watching the Oscars last night and then I had to go into work super early, so I just took such a serious nap. <laughs> like, easily two hour nap. There was drool on my pillow and everything, so needed, I guess. Before my nap, I started a little bit of Yaki Delgado wants to kick your ass. I'm literally on page 10, but it seems like it's gonna be like super easy readable. So I'm gonna wipe all this makeup off of my face. There's like hardly that much left, but there's eye makeup still. And I'm going to put on my glasses and start getting myself ready, all cozy, because I'm going to be like hosting a cozy night in Twitter sprint sort of thing on my ch um, Twitter page. Mm, and I, I'm just gonna get myself all relaxed. I'm ready for it. Just ready to read and be cozy and chill out. It has been a while, but I just finished my reading sprints. It's now 10 p.m. Um, but it was great. I love reading along with people so much and I love just interacting with people through just like pictures and tweets. It's so much fun. And we just did it for three hours, which I think is the longest sprinting time that I've ever done, but it worked out really well. And I was able to get so much reading done. I was only on page 10 last time you saw me and now I'm on chapter 27, which is page 194. So I only have this much left, which is super exciting. It is 7.30 a.m. on day two of the readathon, and I just finished Yaki Delgado Wants to Kick Your Ass, and wow. This book was so much darker than I expected it to be. I thought it was gonna be like, it's YA, I guess, because they're in high school, but it's like younger, it's like ninth and 10th grade. So much darker than I expected. And it had such a good ending. And I wanna talk about the ending so bad because I feel like it could be kind of controversial because people always want you to like face your issues. But in this case, she technically didn't. Uh, and it's just, it was really important, and I think that her decision was the best decision that she could have made, and I'm just, like, so happy that this was the moral of the story, that, like, you can leave your problems unsolved in order to create a better world for yourself, and it just, wow, it was so good. would highly recommend. I really, really love Meg Medina's books. This is the second one that I've read from her. Wow. So good um it's early um and i just finished a book and that's really cool i think my plan for right now is going to be to relax for a bit 
I think the next book that I want to get to today is The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. I have to start getting ready for work at 2 p.m. So I have plenty of time before then. So we'll see what I get done. This may not look as beautiful to you as it does to me, but I am so excited for breakfast right now. When I opened The Sun is Also a Star, it had a bunch of different perspectives at the beginning and I wasn't really feeling that at the moment. Surprisingly enough, I picked up uh, 2 a.m. at the cat's pajamas and it still had a few different perspectives. However, the first few pages are really intriguing, so I think I'm going to keep going with that. I keep feeling like this vlog is going to be too boring or there's not going to be much content or anything like that, but I actually feel like this readathon was the best thing that I could have done for myself right now. I've been so caught up in like having to do a lot like giving myself tasks to do because I feel like I'm not doing enough for myself like in order to climb up the ladder to success but I feel like I've been overworking myself because along with that I'm also doing full-time work and I've gotten myself ready for school which starts on the 13th and I really do need more time to relax um, also I've been very social before yesterday I had been hanging out with people five days in a row and I hadn't had time for myself in a while so yesterday was just perfect and laying in bed all day sounds perfect right now so I'm actually so happy and this is so needed. I'm gonna keep reading this. I'll let you know how I feel about it. So this has been an incredibly unexpectedly lazy day. <laughs> I literally thought I was gonna get so much done before work. Didn't happen. I mean I did laundry and dishes but I literally stayed in bed all day and just ate and I read 14 pages of 2 a.m. at the cat's pajamas so I'm gonna bring that book to work with me. Maybe I'll read some, maybe I won't but I'm off tomorrow so hopefully I'll read more then. Just got home and although I'm not going to count these as like my final page count or towards my final page count, I just wanted to show you guys that I've been very into reading the paper lately. It's upside down. <laughs> but I have the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal and like during my free time at work I just look at articles, different articles, and I used to just look at specific sections but now I'm branching out a bit and I really love it. New York Times and the Wall Street Journal and I also subscribe to the New Yorker and they're all just really great. Side note, I have a toothache that just started happening as I was at work and I was like, why? So I made a dentist appointment, surprisingly they were able to put me in for tomorrow, but it's just for a cleaning and they'll take a look at my tooth while I'm there. I'm pretty sure they won't be able to do anything, which is a bummer, but at least I'm going to the dentist. But also it sucks that I have to go to the dentist tomorrow supposed to be reading. I also have some errands that I have to run and uh, things that I have to do and those will all be pretty dependent on how the dentist goes and how much I have to pay. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But that was the end of my day. I'm gonna go shower. I love how everybody's just jumping into sprints and being so enthusiastic about this readathon that just happened. Thank you so much to everybody. I feel like I'm gonna end every night saying thank you, but I so appreciate it. <coughs> Welcome to day three. My tooth doesn't hurt as much, but it's still bothering me a little bit. Uh, but my dentist appointment is at 10.30. I've been reading for a good hour now. Um, I woke up and I realized that, hey, maybe I was sitting in bed all day because I'm actually getting sick. I have a tickle in my throat, my nose is all clogged up this morning, but I have some of this vapor rub junk that you rub on your chest and your nose and I just made myself some lemon water which is very warm and nice so I'm gonna enjoy that before my dentist appointment and try to chill out once again. I'm on page 53 of the cat's pajamas and I am slowly but surely noticing that this is one of those books where if I wasn't doing a readathon right now I would put it down and probably not pick it back up for a while because I don't know why all of the different perspectives is like bothering me but it's just not something that I'm feeling at the moment but the content is interesting enough to where it like I keep going it's a really good book but for some reason the different perspectives isn't what I'm feeling right now but I am still pushing through it because it is still really interesting content and I'm really enjoying it I just don't feel good I don't know what's wrong with me to make myself feel a little bit better I thought that I would choose my book of the month picks uh, because why not it's the first of the month I can do that I was really, really excited because Exit West was actually featured yesterday in the New York Times. So I was freaking out. So obviously I felt like that needed to be my first pick. And then I also picked Marlena because that sounded really interesting. And you will know me by Megan Abbott because I've had that out from the library for months now. Way overdue. And now I can finally return it. I'm off to the dentist. I have my book for the waiting room. Wish me luck. Update. 
My teeth are clean, which is nice. Um, my toothache that I had over here ended up being a few cavities like in between my teeth, so I made another appointment to get that done. Um, I'm just really happy that it wasn't an infection or something that I have to get like a root canal for. I'm happy that it was nothing actually serious, which like a lot of people could think that a few cavities are serious, which like it kind of is, but I have a lot of cavities and to know that since nothing more serious is very, very, relieving to me that's it i'm gonna go drop off my rent money and then i'm gonna come home and read and maybe eat if my face my teeth feel up to it we'll see how it goes good morning it's day four i just got up i have to get ready for work right now i work from 10 a.m to 5 p.m and then i'm gonna go have ramen with my buds from work i still feel sick but not as sick but sick. Yesterday I could have easily finished the cat's pajamas, but like I said, I wasn't feeling well, so most of the time I was watching Portlandia. But I got up to page 153, which is a little more than halfway, which is really good, so hopefully after I'm done eating ramen with them, I can come home and finish it. Fingers crossed. Guys, it is now after midnight, so it's still my Thursday night, but technically it's Friday. Um, I have not been home since 10 a.m. when I was about to leave for work, and it's 12.40. I'm so tired. I only got the tiniest bit of reading done today on my lunch break. I had so much fun today. I ate ramen with my coworkers and then I went out to one of my coworkers' um, houses. But I have no voice left. I am sick and I have work at 9 a.m. Somebody, what is this week? Hi guys, it's day five. This is my voice right now. I literally cannot go any higher. And I have work from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And I'm hoping before I go to work to read some of the cat's pajamas because I was only able to read yesterday um, on my lunch break, which was no good. I really wanted to finish this yesterday, but I'm more than halfway through it, so I'll definitely finish it today. And then I should be able to get through one more book during the weekend, which would be really nice. But yeah, I don't feel good. I keep having this thought because people are tweeting and they're like, oh, I can't wait to see your vlog. I just feel like this one's not gonna be that good. <laughs> like it's not going to have much content in it because I was sick most of the time and I was just laying in bed and I wasn't doing much and I just feel bad, even though there's not a lot of pressure. Like I'm the one putting the pressure on myself, uh, which doesn't feel good, so I have to stop doing that. And I have to remind myself that every week is different and every part of your life is different and things are gonna change and that's okay. I need to remind myself of that because I'm just putting too much pressure on myself right now. And it's okay to be a little boring sometimes, especially when I can't talk. <laughs> so <coughs> I'm gonna go read for a bit before work. It is now 12.30 on Saturday. I have no voice. It hurts to talk. I ended up doing a double at work yesterday, so I was there from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. And then I went to work from 5 a.m. And I was supposed to be there until noon, but I ended up only making it until 10 a.m. Because, oh my god, I'm so sick. I'm literally just going to cozy up with tea. I'm putting on a sweatshirt now and, like, rubbing some stuff on my chest and putting some pills into me. Tea, lemon, reading. Finally! I'm gonna be doing some of the sprints that Ashley is hosting on her Twitter now, so I'm really excited about that, actually. It's the one good thing about being sick. It is the last day of the readathon, day seven. Um, I'm still sick. Who is surprised? This is literally my setup right now. I'm about to do my last readathon sprints of the readathon, which is really sad. But I'm on my third book, which I'm really, really impressed by. It's been a really busy week, but I've been able to power through some books, which is really exciting. Yeah, I'm gonna be reading this for like three hours. Hello! I think it's pretty fitting that the last thing that I shoot for this vlog is me in bed, because that's where I've been literally all week that you've seen me. I just slowly but surely got more sick and it didn't stop and it was not good vlogging time. I know that that's something that you guys want to see and I do want to do more vlogs. Um, the reason that I wasn't doing them before is I just felt like I wasn't doing enough and I didn't feel okay with not giving you guys like a productivity vlog because that's what I really enjoy making. March though is ridiculous. I had just started orientation this week for school and there's just so many events going on in March so if I don't vlog I'll be really disappointed in myself. The readathon went so well. Even though I was really busy, so many people helped me out and everyone was just so kind the entire time and it was just this group of people just 
reading and being friends and it was so great i loved it so much i ended up reading two full novels i finished a third novel that i had already started before the readathon and i got halfway into the side of home which I am now reading in bed. Um, it is the Monday after the readathon, so the day after the readathon, and I had just gotten home from work. I had just finished some schoolwork. Um, I feel very organized and productive today, and it's now after midnight, and I decided, hey, I'm gonna read a little bit before bed, which is something that I never do. And I realized while sitting here reading that this readathon really made me love reading stories again which is just the greatest feeling ever it just usually i would just watch an episode of one of the things that i've watched over and over again like the office or friends or something like that i read such good stories during this readathon and i just want to keep reading this story it's making me so excited for all the other books that i have on my shelf right now that i've wanted to read but haven't felt the urge to read. Now I feel like reading is just like, I have to read all of these things. It's urgent. I want to know these stories. And I'm just enjoying it thoroughly. And it's just, that was a really great feeling. I feel like I really needed this readathon in order to get me excited about my books again. So I'm really happy that that happened. This is something that I definitely want to do again, just because I really loved the community feeling. It was so great. So if you didn't get a chance to participate, I'll definitely be doing this again. And if you did get a chance to participate, thank you so much for doing so. I feel like everybody did so much better of a job than I did at like updating everything and just showing pictures on Instagram. I didn't do that once, but everyone was so great about like doing updates and doing everything. You're all amazing and you all did so well. And thank you so much for participating. That's it. That's all I got for now. The two full books that I read were Yaki Delgado Wants to Kick Your Ass and 2AM at the Cat's Pajamas. The one that I finished that I had um, started previously was The Edge of Everything, which there will be a live show for on Thursday on the Bookables channel, which is very, very exciting. I believe that'll be at 7 p.m. EST, but I'll leave the information down below for it. Uh, so, and then The Side of Home, I haven't finished yet, but I will be very soon because it's really good. I'll have a recently read and currently reading out for those novels as well as one other one. So keep an eye out for that and I hope you guys are having a great day and a great week. Uh, let me know what books you have recently read down below because I'm curious and I will see you soon. Bye!